Usually I wait for a show to finish its season before I give it a little bit of a review, a reaction, but we're at the halfway point of Peacemaker and people won't shut up about it. They're like, Adam, tell us what you think about Peacemaker. Let me tell you something, commenters. I'm not a marionette doll. You can make dance whenever you want up on strings. When I get people demanding things, requesting, I look those comments straight in the eye and I say, fine, I will. There will be nay a spoiler here because I understand not everybody even has access to this show yet in different parts of the world. I don't know why, but I've been told that in Europe they, they don't even have this show out yet. What, what, what is happening? Why? First things first, I'm a real ass. Drop this and let the whole world feel it. Director slash writer James Gunn, he's batting 1000 with me. I, I He doesn't miss. I love all of his movies. Slither. Super, The Guardians franchise, The Suicide Squad, and now Peacemaker. He, he just, he just, he gets me. He knows how to make me tick, man. He gets my humor. He knows how to get those belly laughs. He knows how to tug at the heartstrings. He knows how to make me feel different emotions for characters I normally wouldn't even like in real life. And here we are again with Peacemaker. Now, I will say the only gripe I've had is the first 15 minutes isn't the best. It takes a little while for you to build into this show. Not a lot. There's plenty of shows where it can take like an entire season for it to start working like Parks and Rec, but here it goes much quicker. There are very select shows where I don't skip past the intro if possible. Peacemaker is one of them. The intro to this show is in the top five of all time. That would be a great list. Top 10 intros to TV series ever. Golden Girls, obviously, on there. Thank you for being a friend. Dun 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 dun. Travel down the road and back again. Dun dun dun. Your heart is pure. You're a friend and a confidant. Bam bam bam. And if you throw a party and you invited everyone you knew, you would see the greatest gift you came from me and the card attached would say thank you for being a friend bum 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 rest in peace betty white wow this took a turn <laughs> Honestly though, Peacemaker's intro with the badass music and the whole cast just dead face serious going out there doing the most ridiculous dance moves. They're out there 100% committed. It's so good. And then Eagly flies out at the end. There's a little jerk of the wing. He's trying to hold it there. Oh God, the animation is so brilliant. How is it so good now? I'm just thinking, man, we are getting scary close to realism here. I, part of me loves it, part of me fears for it. I could do a video on the top 10 moments from just that intro. And if you know anything about James Gunn, his music is always top tier. That's no exception here. And that rhymed. <laughs> He's got a Spotify playlist. And he updates it each and every week as new episodes come out. Five or six tracks are added, baby. It's a nice time. I, I suggest you listen to it. I have been. While I code at my real job as a web developer, I like to listen, I like to explore. My favorite song out of the first four episodes has to be House of Pain, used in episode four. Holy shit. I was on the verge of man tears before it was done. I, I'm just like, why are you making me care about Peacemaker, James Gunn? He did make me care about a garbage panda, so. <laughs> Sky's the limit for this guy. The cast all around is perfect. There's not a single character that bothers me. There's not a single character that doesn't have depth, layer, multi-tiered emotional elements behind the scenes. Not a single just stock individual amongst them. And we do spend just enough time to get little bits of information on each episode. He's giving us little character moments that organically play into the scenes. One of the biggest acting standouts for me is Robert Patrick, who's basically playing John Voight. It's insane how much he's transformed himself for this role. Uh, quite incredible. I mean, I know this guy is like the T-1000, so to see that difference is, is pretty night and day. Freddie Stroma is Adrian Chase, who's like Peacemaker's partner. Not necessarily a sidekick, that belongs to Eagly. Also a, a terrific character. He, he starts out kind of like a total idiot, naive, a uh, complete jackass, borderline serial killer in nature. But as we get to even the fourth episode, you're starting to see a little bit underneath the surface. This guy's not just 
completely insane. Another newcomer to this series that wasn't in the Suicide Squad is Clemson Mern. I dig this guy a lot. He's completely emotionless, which leads to some really fun dialogue exchanges around episode three and four. I'm not gonna get into the plot really at all. It is very interesting. I like the mystery behind it and how it's growing over these episodes. Amanda Waller has put together another ragtag crew under the radar, under the James Gunn, if you will. And they're using Peacemaker, who they pulled out of prison to use as their own personal assassin. Over the course of just these four episodes, now I get it. I understand why James Gunn wanted to do this with John Cena. When it was first announced, I'm like, what? Peacemaker? He was fine, he, he was good in the movie, but how, why is he getting a show? But John Cena is so freaking good in this. He nails all the jokes, even if they're not that funny or a little too immature even for my liking, he's all in. He totally executes them. Action-wise, this movie's got a lot of it. It's all really well done. I didn't have any moments like I did with Hawkeye where I thought, man, this is really underproduced or this needs to end now. All of it looks really great. It all has a consistency to it. You can tell James Gunn's just there for the entire production. I'm watching three shows right now. This one, The Book of Boba Fett, which, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I have it on the docket as well to talk about this week since we're, uh, you know, we're four episodes in as well, but it's not gonna be as glowing as this one. If you wanna hear my thoughts so far on that, let me know in the comments. And then the, the third show is The Great, which is pretty random, I know. It's on Hulu. I think they just finished season two not that long ago. I, I, I honestly don't know. My wife was watching it. I started listening and thought it was pretty clever or funny. So I got into it. It's, it's great. So to recap Peacemaker so far, wonderful music, top notch, top notch stuff. Action, he's doing it. He's hitting it out of the park. Drama, comedy, relationships, they're all there. They're all working. This is a great series so far. I hope it continues the momentum. There's even little bits of slither in there. James Gunn's recognizing that horror aspect of his, uh, of his career. He's bringing it in. This is such a, it's just a perfect marriage of everything I love about James Gunn's stuff. Let me know your thoughts on Peacemaker. Am I overselling this thing, overhyping it, or am I right on here? Maybe DCEU can send me a check in the mail because clearly I'm a shill. Even though I've been very harsh on the DCEU in general and think it's kind of a train wreck, the last couple of films have really shown that they're able to steer this ship. Let these writers, directors, and actors just make good movies, stand alone, and we can, we can fit them together later. We don't have to do it now. Thanks again for watching the video. Like if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't, and I hope to see you around. Well, you know what, Sheila? I thought the Betty White tribute was very tastefully done, and if you don't like it, you get the hell out. Yeah, you can, oh my gosh, you're still here. Hey, if you haven't, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies and I can, I can hire better interns. There's a dollar tier. Just think about it.